guys, today I'm going to be reading Maxwell's Birthday by Jane Eccles. This is Paradise Road. And this is the house where the monsters live. This is Mr. and Mrs. Monster and their son Maxwell and his sister Rose. The small one with the, with the bone is Fang, the dog. Today is, is Maxwell's birthday. Happy birthday, Maxwell. I've brought your favorite cereal, Monster Crunch. And here's my present, said Rose. Open it first. Oh, wow. Gummy monsters, jawbreakers, and, cried Maxwell, digging deeper into the bag, licorice snakes. Look, Rose, Mom and Dad gave me a walk monster, cried Maxwell, opening the present next to his bed. There's a gigantic present from Aunt Jane, squealed Rose, pointing to a large package under the bed. Uh-oh, she added, remembering how Maxwell nearly blew up the garden shed with the little scientist kit Aunt Jane gave him for Christmas. It's a monster fun kit. I've always wanted a scary-looking costume, exclaimed Max Maxwell. Let's see what's written on the box. Complete with fearsome mask, hideous claws, dastardly feet, plus lots of dangling eyeballs. It's fantastic, said Maxwell, putting everything on. Eek, shrieked Rose, it's scary. Maxwell growled at her. I'm gonna show mom and dad right away. Mrs. Monster was mending a broken vacuum cleaner in the shed. Oh, she cried, nearly falling off her chair. Sorry, Mom, I'll go show Dad. Dad, Dad, wait till you see this, shouted Maxwell, running into the kitchen where Mr. Monster was carefully icing blue swirls on a birthday cake. Oh, sorry, apologized Maxwell as the bloodshot eye plopped in the middle of the swirl. I'll just go and show everyone else, said Maxwell. Come back, cried Maxwell, running after his friends. Hello, Granny. How repulsive. Come out, Fang, I won't hurt you, it's only me. Where is everyone? Maxwell looked around the garden and down the street, but there was no one in sight. Rose, are you up there? He called as he raced up the stairs. At the top of the stairs, Maxwell saw a monster in the mirror, covered with grotesque limp lumps, hideous claws, dastardly feet, and lots of dangling eyeballs. Ah, cried Maxwell. He dropped to the floor in shock. Mom and Dad and Rose heard the bump and ran to him. Here's a glass of water, son, said Dad. You look much better, Maxwell, said Mom as she took off the mask. I think I prefer him with it on, said Rose. The end.